we are going to create a function that will display or print a doubly linked list and i will simplify the code for this function using some animation so that you are able to visualize and most importantly to understand what the code does i will also show you the code and explain it as we continue to build our linked list project in this video i'll show you how to print a doubly linked list it is very easy and after this video you'll be able to write a doubly linked list print function and i will show you what the code does using some animation and I'll also show you the actual code for printing a doubly linked list in the actual project files for our doubly linked list project. After this video, I'll upload another video on deleting notes from a doubly linked list. So I strongly suggest that you click the bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you don't miss this video or the other data structures videos or any programming content that I will upload. And also click the subscribe button if you haven't already and welcome to Eco Fundamentals. The goal in this video is to create a function that will print our doubly linked list. Printing the values of the nodes in the order in which they were added, starting from the head node. So if we have an example doubly linked list with the nodes with values 1, 3, 5 and 9. And after we've created the function and we can call it on our doubly linked list, it should print the values 1. 3, 5, and 9 in that order. Remember that we will see this in action when we run our doubly linked list project with the complete code in this video. If you watched the two previous videos, you will have seen that I write a function and have it call another function. So we'll create the print doubly linked list function, and the print doubly linked list function will call the second function. And this function will take in a head node pointer. And since this function takes in a node pointer, PTR will be pointing to the head node. So in line two, if the pointer PTR is not null, or if we have nodes in our doubly linked list, and if that's the case, like in our example, we proceed to line three, a while loop which checks if the next point of the node PTR is pointing is not null. And in our example, the node with the value of one is pointing to another node. So we enter the while loop and we print the value one. And then we advance the pointer PTR to point to the next node. And now we're pointing to the second node. And since it's pointing to another node, or its next pointer is pointing to another node, we enter the while loop and we print out its value, which is three. And then we've advanced the pointer PTR to point to the next node, the third node. And its next pointer is also pointing to another node. So we are still in the while loop. Therefore, we print out its value, which is 5. We advance the point of PTR to point to the next node. That would be the fourth node. But this is the last node, since its next pointer is pointing to null, or pointing to nothing. So we exit the while loop, and the statement after the while loop is just to print out the value of the node PTR is pointing at, which is the last node, with the value of 9. And we've just printed out our doubly linked list. Now in the moment, I'll show you how to use this code in an actual doubly linked list project. So we can test the add node functions we created in the previous video. And now let's move on to the project files so we can run our program. So in the project files, we need to go to the header file where we'll define the, the, fun the function prototypes for the print, for the print doubly linked list function. This function will, deal, will print our doubly linked list and it's a void function so we'll call it print doubly linked list and it doesn't take any parameters. And then in the private section of the class we need to define print doubly linked list one and this one takes in a head a node pointer. And that's it for the header file. So going to going on to the wlinks.ccp file, we will define these two functions. So the first one is the w link list. So the first one is the print w link list print function or print w link list. This one will only call the second function, which is print w link list one passing in the head node as argument. Now let's actually define the print w link list one function. It's also a void function. 
and it takes in a node pointer. So for this function, the first thing we need to check is if the head node pointer is pointing to null. That would mean that the, the doubly linked list is empty. And so if, if we have nodes in the linked list, then we will create a while loop that will check if we have reached the last node. So we'll check if the next pointer is point, is not pointing to null. If that's true, we want to print out the data or the value at the node we're currently visiting and then advance the pointer PTR to point to the next node. And then when we finally find the last node, we want to just print out its value outside the while loop. And I think that's it. So now we can test the function in the main.ccp file. So we're just gonna see how the statement says that says printing that should have been a, a doubly link a doubly linked list. We're going to call our function. Now let's compile and check if we have any errors and we don't. So we run the executable file and there is our doubly linked list. So our function works. And now that we have a way to see our doubly linked list, we can move on to discussing deleting nodes from a doubly linked list and I'll be discussing the delete node functions so that we can remove nodes from a doubly linked list. And please take only just 10 seconds to click the subscribe button because it helps me to grow this channel. And while you're there, just turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos that might help you in the near future. And leave a like down below and share this video if you found it helpful and interesting. Thank you for staying with me until now. You can support me by checking out my Patreon page. I'll leave the link in the description. And welcome to ACO Fundamentals.